we want to know how our planet is changing to understand different processes, different chemical reactions, and how the system all work together to make a sustainable planet for humankind. We hope to help citizens figure out how to adapt to the climate change that's already here, but perhaps most of all to mitigate it, to transition out of the fossil fuel age to something better. The choice we make can impact the generations to come. If we can all work together, we can solve the problem. The Center for Global and Regional Environmental Research was started in 1990. A group of faculty, maybe a dozen or so, had been meeting and talking about this new idea that we could actually be changing the climate. Out of that, the state legislature decided to fund a center uh, looking into questions of uh, climate change, funded by a tax on utilities in the state. We use that to be a research center as well as do education and outreach uh, to the citizens of Iowa. This is the eighth Iowa climate statement. We try to get the, all the scientists to agree on a climate statement that's uh, unique to Iowa that helps to inform policy in Iowa, also helps to inform citizens about what climate change might mean. We're going to experience much, much warmer conditions, much more severe uh, flooding. The Iowa Climate Statement is a good way of building consensus among scientists and then communicating that information more broadly to the public. If we're able to start to show Iowans how our local climate is being impacted by climate change, um, hopefully that will start to spur some local action to make a difference. The mission, I would say, is to foster interdisciplinary research, including all aspects of uh, sciences both the natural sciences, the uh, engineering, social and behavioral sciences, and even humanities. Most of our center does mathematical modeling. In my own case, um, modeling of agricultural crops and soils and how they re are responding to uh, climate change. But experimentally, we try to remove carbon dioxide, greenhouse gas from the atmosphere. I work with high-protein microalgae and I'm growing it to be a sustainable cattle feed. In this case, this is a resource recovery uh, project. Microalgae is something valuable that we're growing, but we're growing it with simulated power plant emissions. The microalgae is capturing the CO2, it's something that's not being emitted. My PhD research is about how we can use plants that accumulate a lot of nickel to make other useful materials, like energy storage materials or wastewater treatment materials. Places that have been polluted with metal, we can actually take the metal out of the soil and bring it back to a more natural state. My overall research area is in uh, developing sophisticated models that can be used to analyze air pollution. The real focus on climate change has been greenhouse gas emissions. But it turns out that aerosols, these particles that are air pollutants, they also play a tremendous role in climate system. Black carbon coming from diesel engines or forest fires, uh, they actually absorb solar radiation. So they act like a greenhouse gas. Where we have air pollution and weather in the same model, we can find that the black carbon, say in a city like Delhi, because of its warming agent, makes the atmosphere more stable and can actually increase the, the pollution levels because the emissions are not mixing as high into the atmosphere. What I'm doing is called a smoke plume rise. We calculate the injection height and then the model releases the fire emissions in this altitude. Models that don't include this parameterization, they release all the fire emissions in the first layer of the model. This contributes to uh, inaccurate episodes of air quality. The weather prediction, while they are getting more and more accurate, uh, there is still room to be improved. For example, we don't know how accurate is our weather prediction in the rural areas. We are designing a, a, a meteorological sensor that is only cost 80 bucks. Local sensor help us to improve our understanding of the solid data you know, to what accuracy they have. On top of that, it also allows to engage the, the citizen. 
we basically give those sensors to our citizens. Another part of the research I'm doing is also about the uh, air pollution versus the health. I'm working on new satellite mission called the Maya multi-angle imager for aerosols to study different types of particular uh, like matter pollution and their association with like a human health, like a respiratory disease, etc. We have like 11 cities like around the globe, so it's very, very cutting edge research. Everybody works really hard, and everybody strives to be the best. So we kind of push each other to be the best, and the staff here at Seeger, they are very supporting. I think that the students are really exciting to work with because they get it. They realize that we have to respond to this challenge. We must change, and in the course of doing so, we can create something positive and an engine for economic development in the future.